Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Great Goatee Hunt for MinMax. I'm Ben Hansen, joined by Jeff Marchiafava. Hello! Jeff, um, we never thought it would happen, but this week is the week that House Hunter Rise, House Hunter dies, as people in the Discord keep screaming. I know, it's sad. We were we were one episode away from being able to do a mega poll at the end. But that's to fine. To figure out the grand championship of... We let Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash minmax with two ends vote for what we stream every week. And we had quite a, quite a streak running for this show, House Hunter Rise, where we just looked at absurd houses on Zillow and it was surprisingly fun. You can check out the archives on YouTube if you'd like. Um, but this week, the community said nay. We're voting for something new. Although people in the chat are very smartly pointing out that it is <laughs> House Mark Hunter Rise, is what God's Garage is saying. We are checking out uh, Returnal on the PlayStation 5 from House Mark, uh, this copy of the game. And actually, technically, this PlayStation 5 as well was provided by PlayStation, just so y'all know. But uh, this game is coming out uh, this Friday. PS5 exclusive from Housemark. Uh, they made Resogun right at the launch of PS4, if you recall that one. Um, Next Machina, which is a very underrated game from uh, them on the PS4. It came out in like 2017. And I think maybe at the end of the stream, we'll jump back to these games just to see where they came from as well. So it's not all going to be Returnal here. But Jeffum, are you looking forward to this new journey into Returnal? I am so looking forward to it. Good. I've played like four and a half hours of it. Um, it has been kicking... So you're an expert. It has been kicking my hiney, and it is... Hang on. The booming voice! Um, it is very much the type of game that, like, I cannot wait to see some tip videos on YouTube pop up. But playing this pre-release, it's like, okay, I, I, I'm doing all right. Um, I certainly could be doing better. Um, so I am no expert. But this is the very beginning of the game here, so we can, we can soak this in. Real Deal says, it sounds like this game is really subtly really good. I'll let you be the judge, but I think you might be right. I hope you like Prometheus, because it feels very much in that alien Prometheus vein. But the good part's Prometheus, which is the art design. New Smash character. Thanks for the folks sucking, uh, subbing on Switch, by the way. Appreciate it. Twitch? Did I say Switch? Never mind. Average Snorlax says any game that starts off by telling me it's intended to be a challenging experience is probably not for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it tends to even the challenge out, at least in the first biome, which I am still in. Um, but I think I'm the outlier for spending that much time in the first biome, by the way. Um, but it's made up for that by it's challenging, but it's very, very tight control wise um it's it's really something else hey x tor bomb x thanks for subbing on twitch we appreciate it i mean jeff this is just this is your porn right i mean this is like the coolest setup you could hope for in a game i do like this kind of side by stuff Oh, those foot pedals are so cool. Thanks for being here, Musty Chef. Appreciate it. Um, I'm liking the game, Musty Chef. It's kicking my butt. Um, but I, I like it, and I, I'm a big fan of the studio, too. We'll be talking about it on the Midmax Show podcast this week as well. Which you can subscribe to on your favorite podcast app. It's not Patreon exclusive. Astro. Oh my god, Chris! Astro. Thanks for the subs! Sub explosion? My god! 
I survived, but Helios did not. Suit status operational, but my sidearm is myth. Yes, yes, quite aware. I'm leaving comms open. So it's third person, obviously. Um, but oh, maybe I can't go in here yet. Um, but there's like first person sections every once in a while. Like in the ship, it's first person, which is kind of a funky transition. And this thing is apparently nothing at all. Hey, yep. Come on. Damn it. Can't do a cool Metroid thing and stand on top of the ship. All right, well, let's see what this world is all about together, Jeff. Abandoning Helios. Heading towards White Shadow Broadcast. Coach, um, mask. we just started, and yes, we have. Yep, very beginning of the game. And something that I guess we haven't mentioned about this game yet is it is a roguelike, ladies and gentlemen. So these environments are going to be uh, randomized room by room uh, as you explore here. And you can definitely, you know, you notice the repeated rooms at a certain point. Like, okay, this room, this room, this room. But, like, the enemy placement's always different, and so it doesn't feel too boring of yet. Xenotype civilization. Ancient walls, foundations, and statues. Oh, more subs rolling in from Aaron J. Bear. Thanks, Aaron! You're our favorite bear, buddy. Oh, I could really use that gun. I'm trying to figure out, it's interesting, like, going back and replaying this opening section. So I'm trying to figure out, like, how, at what point do they actually randomize the environments versus, like, for the first two runs, maybe they're trying to guide you a certain direction, but... Okay, here we go, Scout. story stuff. Atropos. I have found a deceased Astro Scout here. Checking identification on a helmet. Nothing weird here. It's... Jeff, I'm it's her! Thanks, I mean, Leafeon. Appreciate the sub. Do you think that since this game takes place in the future, though, she would be familiar with the concept of a roguelite? <laughs> and so then would you just be like, oh, okay, I'm clearly in a roguelite here. Right, right. She'd be like, oh my god, it's like Hades, that retro game. My sidearm. Oh, see, we already got some Terminator, Continuing like, time loop breaking here legend. where... She got the gun from her future self, but where'd that future mm -hmm. self get the gun from? Mm-hmm. So, I don't think I have it quite yet, but the guns are interesting because they're, you know, it's a PS5 exclusive, so they're really trying to take advantage of all the features on the controller. And one of them is using the haptic triggers. They have it so you press the trigger halfway to look down the sights, and then eventually you unlock alt fire, and you do that by then holding down the left trigger all the way. So like, there's a lot of resistance halfway on the trigger, but it's still a weird thing to mm. be looking down the sights, but to do that, you can't slam the trigger as hard as you can. But there's, there's a good amount of resistance, but it's something that you have to get used to for like, okay, look down the sights, don't slam the trigger, just go a little easy on it. Maybe I'm just too rough on my controllers to begin with. Discovered a potential resource. Positive analysis for suit repairs. Classifying as Sylphium. Your health is called integrity, so fans of South Park will really love it. We got a big old beautiful Metroid Prime map for folks. Come on, what's better than this? Just maps being dudes. Uh, it's, um, it's helpful with, um, it has like video tutorials in here as well to help guide you a little bit which is a lovely feature. All right. No ammo, it's like the energy thing where it reloads, which is nice. The alt fire is on like a, a cooldown. down. When we unlock that. There's Koken Kachin? I've played as well, but I have not, just bad. With me. Very lucky. As you can see, it has the very housemark thing of having it like bullet hell arcadey stuff, but it's very fun to have like that in this amazing looking game. Um, how's the volume, everybody? I know it's loud, but is it okay? Let me know if you want the game quieter. 
Uh, yeah, Chris, the movement is very satisfying. Like, having that dash is just wonderful. And as you can see, like, everything in the game is just as snappy as it can possibly be. Kind of like going back to those, um... Those arcade count. roots, which is very Adding nice. Quick stop, Clerk59 asks, how weighty do the guns feel? Scout log. Hmm. Atropos. Um... Elapsed I'll be quiet here for a second. 30 minutes since last crash. Okay, I'll bring down the volume. Um, master volume. There we go. Um, weighty is interesting. I think the guns feel good so far. It's it's no God of War or Gears of War, I should say. But. When, whenever I return, per Astro Protocol, I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. If you're hearing this. You are stuck here too. No! I don't remember recording that. Oh, get with it, lady. <laughs> How are you still confused by this premise? It makes yeah, it's like, you know, when people are in a time loop in the Groundhog Day style movie, it's like just acknowledge you're in the Groundhog Day style movie. Which I think uh Palm Springs did really well. Although they don't think they specifically referenced Groundhog Day, which at that point, just go ahead and reference it. I will pick that up, thank you, even though I didn't need it at this point. Ooh, collectibles. Navigating. So yeah, you kind of get used to some of the spaces for just navigating. Like there's one room in particular that I have, I have locked down. Like look at, just as a good indicator of how snappy the controls are here. Like, look at this door. Look how fast that opens. It's just perfect. Ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Oh. Immersion breaking it so fast. Exactly. Somebody said this is the control of 2021. Uh, no. I mean, I guess third person lady protagonist, but uh, outside of that, not very control. Although it does have, you know, a certain amount of mystery, so. Fans of mystery. Asks, what's the go online menu option? Um, I think it just like tracks and compares stuff with your friends, maybe like stats and stuff. Um, but I started a new account here, so that's why I'm not Holy. logged into PSN. We got more subs from Sour Patch Homeboy. <gasps> Sour Patchy, thank you, sir. Ten subs. Wow. So here's a little tricky one. It's a little risk reward, right? Malignant key. Well, I gotta get a malignant key. Who can pass up on that? Okay. So if you get the objective there, like collecting 300 obelites, then your malfunction will go away. And you can, um, let's go ahead and actually see these tutorials because they are helpful. Did I miss them completely? Where are those things again? Uh... Hello. I forget where those are. Scout logs? Maybe. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, bum, 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 bum. Can't quite get in there yet, I don't think. Sometimes there's a little um, trigger you have to shoot around the side to unlock that specific room. Oh my god. All right, Jeff, how much for me to jump into that? Uh, don't do it. Okay! Oh, I've seen Event, Event Horizon. <laughs> well, that was a stupid way to go. Let's just go for a little jog. Round the perimeter. I've discovered piled corpses of a xenotype species. Likely the architects of these ruins. These could be the sentience that broadcast the white shadow signal. Uh, somebody mentions she runs at like 60 miles an hour. Yeah, she does, but I love it. It's just another indicator of how snappy this game is overall. White Mex asks, I'm not a huge fan of roguelites. Will I enjoy this? Your response weighs heavily on me purchasing, by the way. It is 70 bucks, so do your research before you buy it to find out if it's for you. Um, I have not played enough to really confidently say. I mean, if you're looking for like a big new PlayStation 5 game. It seems like a good choice. Um, I don't know, did you like stuff like Hades? 
you know, because it's a, a roguelike, but it's not Encountered hostile unbearably punishing yet, you know? Uh, although, where I'm at, not a lot is actually carrying over. Oh, God. Uh, like, eventually you get, like, equipment and stuff that, that carries over. Good God! Uh, there's active reload, as you can see. Oof. <laughs> I didn't want a returnal. Um, yeah, Count Pickles asked about what I'm into so far, the story or the gameplay. I'm into the vibe and the setting, and I'm into the gameplay. I don't know about the, like, the larger story and like if Celine's history is really hitting me at this point where I'm at, which is, you know, again, like four and a half hours in. Still technically the first biome, so it's very, very early impressions relatively here. That one dude says you got hella returnaled. This is Celine. <laughs> I survived the... Can white you hear me? White Max asks if ship. that plays every death. It's, it's cool. It's a different version of that almost I've every death. I've experienced this before. Main turtle can be used to view overall statistics. Challenge turtle can be used to access daily challenge. Okay. Meet against other scouts once it's unlocked. Gotcha. It's some awesome. It's some awesome UI work here from Housemark. I think this game looks really good. Just one death. Not so bad. There you go. All right. We got our notes. And then this is where you can go hang out in the ship. Take a little nap Just for funsies. Chris said, reviewers are saying it's way longer than they expected. You getting that vibe from what you've played? I mean, maybe. Again, I'm still in the first biome, and I'm only like four and a half hours in. Um, so, I cannot say. So, I've had different like little quick visions every time I've gone to this bed. I think it's another way to kind of start to trickle out some story and lore for what's happening here. Where's my way out? Thank you so much. Bum, 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 bum. Jeff, you don't have a PS5 yet, do you? I don't. How do you feel about that? I've been that? waiting for some exclusives to force me to get one and also for the ability to find one in stores. Yeah, even if you really wanted to. Okay, hang on. Every time you die, you return to the crash site without the weapons, artifacts, resources collected, your database entries, and permanent equipment. Okay. There we go. So I think you get like a grappling hook and stuff like that. And so that'll stay uh, permanent eventually. But I'm sorry, Jeff, you were saying. No, that was it. Okay. You just want it, but it's going to be hard to get no yeah, matter what. Yeah, like, like any, any moments of weakness that I've had where it's like, I should just get it now. I haven't actually been able to get it yet because it's been sold out everywhere. So then I kind of rebuild up my immunity to it and say, hey, I'll just wait till... You know, some exclusive comes out that I can't play anywhere. But right. now you're showing me an exclusive, Hanson. This is it, so this baby. This is dangerous business. I mean, we got Astrobot, we got Destruction All Stars, and we got Returnal. Am I forgetting anything for the PS5 at this point? I don't think you are. Um, there's also a cool system, just going back to House Mark's kind of arcadey roots here, where um, it's on the bottom, you can see where. Uh, you get, there's like five layers of, I think it's called adrenaline. And so if you get hit, it gets reset, but it's basically a combo meter. So if you keep that rolling, you get a different perk or a different little advantage for each layer that you're at. Now, this looks like a friendly little pool, but I won't go in there now. Um, and this is a little fast travel thing, which I do not have access to quite yet, but I have a feeling that we can unlock it. A new one pretty soon here. Shazira asked what hardware I have to play games on right now, and it's still PS4, Xbox One, Security Xbox One X, PS4 Pro, and Switch. Because of the community. <laughs> That's true. Still getting plenty of plenty of fun times out of my Switch. Hey, I don't want to, you know, blast you here or anything, Jeff. Um, but. I don't know what's happening in that house, but it is a constant back and forth on Steam with notifications that you are playing Stardew Valley. 
It is oh. like in the course of like an hour, it'll like pop up on Steam 14 times. I don't know what's happening over there. Yeah. Well, that that's a whole saga with my wife, Hanson. Why because, does she not know, know we, how to just stay in the game? It's I I think it's because like anytime the monitor goes off, it must tell tell Steam that discovered. it's that she's not playing anymore. I'll but okay. she has to pause a lot mechanism. to take care of baby. So. Oh, interesting. So I can just imagine the baby crying every time that it pops up on my screen. Yep. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. So this is what I'm talking about, where it's really odd, where the alt fire is the same trigger. You just have to hold it down more. It's and yeah. so I don't know how I feel about it. Like I've gotten used to it, and it, it seems like one of the things where they're just really eager to show off, uh, you know, the uh, the pressure and the triggers and all that stuff. But I don't know if it's really the most effective way to have alt fire. Yeah. How how does that how does that feel when you're under pressure? That's from exactly a bunch of. I mean, yeah. I've definitely gotten used to it, but that is that is the concern. But I mean, even if you do hold it down all the way, I mean, I guess you can accidentally fire your alt fire when you don't want to. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world or anything. He still recharges decently fast. Oh, let's do a little investigating as we're under attack. Oh, good God. hi -ya! That is satisfying. Hi, buddy. Zeno tech required, you fool! Come down, come down, clown! Uh, they have very uh, half-life uh, little enemies here that'll grab you, which is fun. But you can dash away from them if you need to. And you will need to. Um, this shielded fool, I don't know actually how to get that shield off. Sometimes there's like a power source or something that's kind of fueling the shields they have. I wonder if, can I ult fire? No. Oh, maybe I need that Xenotech. Uh, this is a grapple point, I believe, which I still don't have access to. Um, but yeah, I do hear that this game is very, very hard. And I think it's hard in the first biome, and apparently that's a cakewalk, so I have no idea what the hell I'm looking forward to here. White Max asks, are you this animated when you're not streaming? Hmm. Uh, no. You just sit there like you're dead weapon. inside while you play. That's Similar basically how humans technology. function, I think, yeah. Yeah. The handle looks weird on that gun. Uh, so one gun at a time, at least where I'm at in the game, uh, and you can swap it out. You find different stuff along the way. Unlock new weapon traits and stats with proficiency. Gain proficiency by eliminating hostiles. There we go. Uh, Dan Snacks says to melee the shield guy. Also, Dan oh. Snacks is in our chat. Hey, thanks, Dan. Uh, it seems like you've really been enjoying this game. I see you uh, hyping it up on Twitter. Dan, I need you to help me guide me in this game because I am no good and I'm still a little bit confused um, at a couple basic things. And you seem like a man who has mastered the systems. The but I'm curious to see or to hear from you how I difficult it gets later on. And if you have any tips just on getting out of the first freaking biome, because I am I'll change getting my butt kicked. And investigate the energy reading in the forest. And Dan, or sorry, Jeff, um, when you're reading Dan's um, comments, could you please impersonate Dan Tack? Absolutely not. Okay. Well, this is not that kind of show. This is professional. Right, right. We need to hire a professional impersonator? Yes. These little chumps. Shoot your bullet wads over here. I fear nothing. Dan lies and says you've been doing great. <laughs> uh, and then he says he can't comment on anything past the second biome right now. I understand that, but the game is harder than you expected, yes? Based on the first two biomes. <laughs> oh, there should be a little trap door there. Also, thank you for the melee tip, Dan. I have not been using melee. Um, oh, I haven't been using that vision thing either. In fact, I don't even know how to melee. How do you melee? 
Dan says it is a challenging game based on the first two biomes <laughs> that probably gets harder as it goes on. It seems like that's the way games work, yeah. I like these little doggy enemies. I think they're really fun design. And I like any enemy that has a very clear attack. And that seems to be the star of the show here. I don't mind if I do. Hmm. Let's get that little health up yonder. Thank you. Yeah, it seems like folks are really excited about it. Like we, we'll talk about it more on the Mid Max Show podcast, but um, I think it's really interesting to see a big first party roguelike. Like I can't think of one before this, unless I'm forgetting something. Um, yeah. But it's fun to see them take a stab at the genre. And I think this is a successful one from everything I've played so far. I have interacted with other versions of myself. But I worry one day I will re-experience these same interactions from their perspectives but are they truly me mm. or just hollowed corpses this may be the face of things to come let me in let me in really i don't have this yet okay i guess i gotta keep rolling before i can fast travel hey crazy monsters ah! oh good god Yes, yes. We all want a good show. Oh, I forgot I have that automatic weapon now. I'll be treating it like it's still my pistol. Damn it! Chris Koken? Coaching? Coughlin? Says this, this game has had a super well-executed preview cycle. Psycho. People seem to be super hyped based on the previews that dropped last week after hearing very little about this game for months. Yeah. I think it also doesn't hurt that the first 45 minutes play out like this too i mean it's just a very pretty and very fast game that's right right not a lot of lore drop if it's like the first 45 minutes nice. of outriders yeah. it'd be like yeah okay i think i kind of get it um but yeah it makes a good first impression for sure oh and then it does this crap to you discovered xenotype technology on the corpse of a sentient Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. Well, this seems fine. Do you think Alien ruined the use of Xeno in the name of aliens? I mean, I know it's like the official, you know, scientific term, but can anyone hear that and not think Xenomorphs? No. I mean, I think of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, so I guess System there's... System integration complete. I guess that's, that's a very handsome answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do like, I mean, it's very much that Prometheus move, like, what's this? Weird tech on an alien? Let me put it on my body. Mm -hmm. But now you get, ooh, these are very satisfying. Thanks for the little oolongs. Look at this menu. Oh, I guess I can't control where it goes yet, but that's like a different Jay test Jaystrom says Zeno's pizza Confirmed. rolls are delicious. Point to point <laughs> teleportation. Location exit seems fixed. And yes, this will be 45 minutes of the game. People are people are asking yes, about that. Yes, I would like to but keep going, we'll... but PlayStation yeah. says na na na. No. So we'll keep playing other housemark games after that. Yeah, you betcha. I want to show off Next Machina. Did you ever play Next no Machina, Jeff? Um? Maybe. It's very good. It's the game they designed with Eugene Jarvis from mm. Robotron fame. And Robotron is one of my favorite arcade games, and it feels like a cool, very Robotron-inspired experience. Hello, my pretties! <laughs> that alt fire is fantastic. Uh, Barry Crab asks, from what I gather, you started a new save for the stream. How much of what you're seeing now is new to you, and how much is the same as your first 45 minutes? This section is... This is all the same. I believe the layout is the same for like the first couple runs here, maybe until you get that first Xeno tech thing. Um, hang on, what is Ether now? But definitely in my runs now, I mean, the environments are all different. Enemy placements are different and stuff like that. I mean, it hurts me, but who can say no? Uh, you also have an item slot and I haven't picked up anything yet there, um, but that 
tends to shake up the gameplay a bit too. Hum, 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 hum. All right, my health, uh, I'm sorry, my integrity is very low. <laughs> Don't say that. No, Fancy it's true. People are gonna take that quote out of context. No, it's, it's true. I had to acknowledge that PlayStation sent us this code, so my integrity is low. Mm. Uh, so here I can use it. Hello. Uh, I can make some items. I would like to do that. Oh, that dirty suit. Device acquired. I think this will prove a useful tool. Um, I don't really have enough for anything else great, but I'm gonna pop that sucker like it's hot. All right, now let's see. Fans of Final Fantasy X's language translation will have a lot to love here. Evidence of rudimentary xenotype language discovered. So you're slowly discovering more and more of that language. to decipher this xenoglyph. Uh, so this is, I think, a really cool interface for the fast travel. So this is how you can jump around at different points, but it's just fun to have, like, this ability in a very Metroid Prime-style map. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Um, yes, I'm, like, four and a half hours in in my main game, Royal Protector, and I'm enjoying it. Um, it's definitely a challenge, but I think, I think it's going to find an audience. A strange energy Evan Sonic thing. wants to know how you. Well, he says, "Am I the only one who keeps comparing it to Hades?" Well, I did know. you get any? I think about Hades all the time. Um, it's definitely not as clean of a design as Hades, and the story is not nearly as compelling, so far at least, as Hades. Um, but I think a lot of people will be comparing it to that and say, "Like, oh, this is Sony's attempt at making a Hades-like game." Where Having a story emphasis in a roguelike is still pretty unique. Um, and I wonder what this game would look like if it started development in a post-Hades world, you know, like if they would have taken any more design inspirations from Hades, but I think a lot of people are going to be talking about that. Yeah. Hello. Techno asks how the raindrops feel on the controller. Is that a thing? Honestly, I haven't noticed it. There's definitely more... Ah, yeah, dirty dog. Um, there's definitely more rumble and stuff happening later on, like back towards the ship and stuff, but right now, I cannot feel anything. Oh, hang on, I'm muting my controller. Or the mic, because I think that heightens the vibration, but yeah, I'm not feeling anything on the controller there specifically for the raindrops, but it's definitely very active in this game overall. They're making the most out of um, the features here. If you want to see this, being half-lifed! Okay. You kind of get the idea. Don't go into those. Um, and the doorways and the little mini-map down there are helpful, right? So, like, the blues are always, like, I think an optional path or, like, an item. And then the kind of Tron gates over here that's kind of continuing the main path. You can see your objective here, and then that'll change around with time there. Is there any co-op? No, there's not. At least I don't believe so. But that would be cool. Patch Homeboy asks, when you die, does she forget everything you've been through before death? If so, could that get old? Um, she doesn't forget. But you lose all your weapons and stuff like that. Hey, pretty baby! She doesn't forget. She remembers everything. But she doesn't remember being those other corpses of herself? I guess not. Missing that active That's reload. Good. Yeah, yeah, so there's some there's some intrigue here. Ah, that door is open, and this one is also open. Creator Gaming says the first few months I had a PS1, I didn't have a memory card. Every game played was a role. Seems docile. So this is some classic Prometheus crap. Well, let's touch this alien. Don't do that. Parasitically attached to my arm. Freaking arm! Does not appear hostile. Somehow, it's strengthening and weakening my suit. So, this is another example here with the parasites where you can attach multiple to your suit here, and then this little pro and con, right? You want to take the hit to get the benefits. Another hot tip from Dan uh, the half light grabbers don't hurt you. 
and they can pull you up to places you couldn't get to. Oh, interesting. That is a hot tip. Thank you, Dan. I always want to use those teleporters because I think they look so cool. No! No! This is going to be rough. Oh, where's my pistol when I need it? This weird sci-fi shotgun. Too far away. Yep. It's the reload. Yes, you too, my little fine feathered friends. God dang it. Back T hell. All right. Real DL1 asks if it's the first biome boss that is holding you back. Uh, I don't think I've seen the first biome boss yet. I don't think I've encountered that, but don't take that as a, you know, barometer of how extreme the first biome is. I think I'm just exceptionally terrible. <laughs> oh, secret! Evan Sonic asks if you can turn off the slight trigger pull to aim mechanic. That's a great question. Let's see. Um, mapping. Ah, looks like it. That seems that way, yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's helpful. Let's get some good stuff. I'll take that shock stream. All right, I guess I'll get hit. Oh, that's right. Suffer damage when collecting items. That's what's going on here. And so I can get rid of that uh, by using consumables, which... Well, let's at least look at what the other items are, I guess, because if we get another consumable, then we could actually redeem it. Ooh. Level three. Don't mind if I do. I know, I know. Please be... Nope, okay. I'll stick with this. I think there is some health back in this room as well. Uh, someone asked if this is what Metroid Other M should have been like. Uh, yes. Correct. Um, it would be really fun to see. There we go, Dan Tag. Thank you for the tip. Um, it would be very fun to see a Metroid game uh, that was also a roguelike. Um, although, maybe we don't need to see it because this is just basically it. Um, so, if, according to the map, there's health down here. Ah! I don't know how to get through this, though. Melee. Yeah, what would you press for melee, Jeff? Um? Uh, Dan says you need the sword to break those vines. Yeah, I ain't got no sword, buddy. This is a freaking noob game. Ah! All right, let's see what we're working with here. Dugga dugga. And dugga dugga. Just keep running, Celine. We're running out of time. Oh, hello. <laughs> That can't be here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to House Hunter Rise for New Show Plus. We're going to be taking a look at this house today. There you go. Um, you let us know in on Twitch whether or not you want to live here. Not a lot of curb appeal. Yeah, and they constantly have one light on. There's some maniac infested by parasites on the outside. I don't think I'd want to choose it. So we'll call it Celine's Bungalow, and you can live in it if you want. Our hello says that house has a doll room for sure. <laughs> They're corroded. Some parts are missing. Others seem. Look, it's Hunter suggests the Lovecraftian captured. loft for the title. See, they're so good with the names. The torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. There's no comfort here. Uh, Evan asks, you may not be able to answer this, but is there a Hades-like God mode? That makes it easier. Uh, not that I've seen. I can talk about everything in the first two biomes. Um, I think it's really the main stipulation here. Ooh, do you like my super pistol? Take it, take it. Oh, easy, big fella. Okay. 
please take the alt fire and burn in hell fire. Oh God. <laughs> what a stupid way to go. Um, I won't take that because it might kill me at this point because of the malfunction. Please don't have anything behind me. Please don't have anything behind me. What is this thing now? Great increased melee cooldown and dash. Eh, I'm good. Is this still locked? No, okay. All right, just some cool Satan stuff. Uh, Trying to understand here. Yeah, it's, it's really some fantastic art direction of this game. I'm very happy for how smart. Oh God. These guys like to stick you down, and they don't let up. Um, and you gotta dash out of it. This is not going as well as I would hope. Oh my god! Did I not hit that guy? Come up here! Come, Using come, Neon come. asks, is Dugga Dugga a sound that you make when dashing in all games or just this one? Um, actually all games. Anytime I do any action in any game, I have to shout Dugga Dugga. Which I guess is an old YTMD reference. John Skovic asks, in your experience so far, how is the build variety from one to from run to run? Is Not, it a couple weapons or does it feel like there are lots of different ways to play? I think probably when you unlock, I would imagine, like more weapons and stuff. Um, and more weapon slots, I would think that you're not just always limited to one weapon, that there might be some variability, uh, variability there. Um, but where I'm at now, it's pretty similar. I haven't had wildly different builds. Like having the, um, the little usable item is definitely a big moment, but uh, this seems like a good place to stop. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this guy to kill us. No, my Lord, I prayed to thee. Uh, so let's see what resetting here looks like. Uh, the monster design's the same as Aaron J. Bear throughout the biomes. Um, I have only seen the first biome, but I would imagine that they change it up. Crash. Again. Astra. Add Astra. They can't hear me. I'm alone. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we're allowed to show for this game. Um, what'd you think so far? I'm curious, uh, Jeff, what'd you think? Cool. Yeah. Um, definitely one I would want to play at some point, but don't know how long I would continue playing it. You know, yeah. I, I always have like a weird sudden fall off with roguelikes most of the time. Really, even... um. Uh, Hades? Still have not beaten Hades, yeah. That's understandable, but it's very good. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not online because I'm on my alt account here. Well, you know what, at that point, let's just go ahead and switch. Um, this is... Um, this is Next Machina, which is Housemark's game from 2017 that they designed with Eugene Jarvis, who was the lead designer back in the day, 1982 specifically, for Robotron, which I think is one of the greatest arcade games ever made. Um, I interviewed Eugene Jarvis back on the Game Informer show about this game right when it came out, but it's just kind of fun to see. This is technically the last game that Housemark developed, so it's fun to see similarities and everything. And yes, I'm playing on Rookie, but that's, they say, the normal difficulty, so go easy on me. That one dude says $70 is still a big question mark for yes. me. Looking forward to seeing a bit more after folks are allowed. But he spelled Mark like House Mark, so extra points there. Excellent. Um, okay, so here it's L1 for that. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a big sticking point with, fo with folks. I'm very curious to see when the reviews come out what people who have finished the game or played more think about it. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying what I've played so far. Um, and it's definitely a challenge. Uh, so, dude, do your research before buying all that fun stuff. Uh, this game is co-op, by the way, and it is very fun co-op. 
if you like these types of games. But it's fun to see even like neon lasers. That's just Housemark's thing. Like they can't get enough of it. And just like Robotron, you're trying to save the humans. Not a family in this game, but just humans. Are you a Robotron guy, Jeff? Uh, you know, I like it, but I just never played a lot of it. Yeah. So I don't have the same nostalgia then. Do you remember where you did play it? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I really didn't play it until I got made like a little main cabinet, and it is it is just like the most pure arcade experience. It's just incredible and so fast, and it holds up so well compared to so many other arcade games. It's like Robotron, Miss Pac-Man, are in that same league of just like, well, it's really tough to improve on this. This is just as tight as the gameplay experience you could hope for. Hey, buddies. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm curious, there was, um, maybe people in the chat can help me out with the name of it. Hey, 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 hey. Um, but Housemark was developing that Battle Royale game that was third person, and I'm sure was a big help for them for just figuring out the tech of Returnal um, that was eventually canceled. I want to say, is it Panda Namco that was publishing it? I don't know why I think that. Uh, people are pointing out you should have changed the name of the Twitch stream so that Twitch doesn't get mad at you. Oh, will they get mad? Apparently. Well, you know what? We aren't going to play this for too long, so hopefully hopefully it's right. Storm Divers. Yes, thank you so much. That was the name of the, the Battle Royale. I kind of want to go back and look at everything they revealed for that. Because I get it confused with Ninja Theory was also... God, I keep doing that stupid mistake. Ninja Theory was also making a game that looked like Storm Divers. And maybe that was the one with Bandit Namco. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of there. Oh, gosh. Um, did anybody... Does anybody else in the chat have a favorite Housemark game? I'd love to I'd love to hear it. Or have any big experience with the studio? Uh, it's like what Alien Nation, Resogun. Resogun was like early PS Plus as well, I believe. So I feel like a lot of folks had that, right? Was that even God, yeah, I think that was like launch PS Plus, is that right? Resogun, people say. Yeah, Resogun I liked, um, but was blown away that, like, remember Matt Miller uh, at Game Informer? He was, like, obsessed with Resogun. Like, it was a very fun level of just, like, Matt Miller's a very reasonable guy, and he was just like, no, 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 like, the world does not understand. Resogun is, like, one of the greatest arcade games ever made, and it doesn't get the respect it deserves. And he just kept playing it for years and years and years. It's amazing. I remember that. He, he got me to play that, like, on multiple times over the years to be like, oh, Miller says it's, it, you know, like, it's the most amazing game ever. Right, Must right. Be missing something. But he also gave Amplitude to 775, so who knows with Miller? He's all over the map. But no, Resogun is very cool. I can, uh, I can jump back to it in a bit here and try to remember how to play that. All humans saved. Humans saved. Humans saved. Okay, that's right. I got the shield. I'm trying to remember any of the little special things. Coming around! This is a game that, if I just want to pick up and play a game for a little bit while listening to a podcast or something, this is a very satisfying one just to jump to and have all the action you can hope for. Ah! Jeff, do you want to look at Housemark's history and kind of run down everything they've worked on? Sure. Other. Oof. Um, and in case anybody's wondering, I don't have access to Pokemon Snap yet. Um, we just posted a video essay about Pokemon Snap's development history, which I think is really interesting. You can check that out on our YouTube channel. Um, but um, we're going to be streaming Pokemon Snap on Friday. It'll be a big stream with uh, best friend Ronnie, because we were big fans of the original back in the day. Um, and so that should be a very fun time. Plus, Jeff, um, get a load of this. It'll be the first in-person stream and Max has done in over a year. Oh my goodness. He's actually coming over to the house. Wow. It's gonna be 
be weird. Uh, let's see. We got Stardust. We got Super Stardust. Oh, that's right. Super Stardust HD. Yeah, I love that game on PS3. We've got Elf Mania. Elf? Elf Mania, 1994. Oh, boy. I know that. Uh, Alien Incident. The Reap. Supreme Snowboarding. <laughs> Trans World Snowboarding. Golf Tee It Up. No one? Okay. Uh, Dead Nation. Uh, that's right. Okay. Outland. Outland is cool. This one where you're shifting between the dimensions and the blue and red colors. Urbans? Urbans? Urbans. I don't know that one. Uh, it was PlayStation Vita and iOS. Apparently. Huh. Angry Birds Trilogy on PS3 and Xbox 360. What? Resogun Alienation Matterfall. Matterfall. I know I played it, but I'm having a tough time remembering what it looks that like. That was PS4. I see a space dude. Is it side-scrolling? Side-scrolling shooter. Okay. That sounds about right. Hey, that's a distant memory. Boink. Please go back to hell, Beamtron. I will stay here. Did you play any of those, Jeff? Uh, Dead Nation. And Red the Gun and Alien Nation. I think Dead Nation was one of those where when PSN went down for that extended period of time, um, they made, up, made it up to you by offering you some PSN yeah. games. And one of them was Dead Nation. I think that's why I played it there. Yeah. Bup, bup. All right, we can jump to a Rezo gun. The only thing I don't like about this game, Next Machina, is the loading screen. It's so vanilla, you know? All right, this is Next Machina. As a reminder, this is House Mark's last game since, or latest game since technically Returnal isn't out yet, which is crazy to think about. But all right, let's actually jump to Rezo gun to continue this little blast from the past. Uh, yeah, people are confused about the Angry Birds trilogy. Yeah, I'm sure they just worked on the console version or something because Activision or something for publishing that one. I think it's confusing. I saw um, PlayStation's been rolling out, Jeff, on a bunch of um, like YouTube videos that are just talking about the PS5 and promoting the PS5 and all that stuff and and the power of the PS5, and one of their big beats was like, backwards compatibility. It was one of those like, that's bold. Like, you got the PS4, which is great. Like, I love being able to play these games, but you gotta you gotta be aware of your competition, man. That's a, that's a tough one to really try and use as a bullet point for selling. But I guess just like letting people know that technically you can play almost all of your PS4 games on here is pretty cool. Give me your humans, please. I wonder, did they ever port or have Super Stardust HD um, available on PS4? Because I really liked that PS3 game and the music in it was fantastic. This is Rezogun. Aaron um, J. Bear says, never realized how Midgar-esque this level is. <laughs> yeah, and there's just a beam of Mako in the background there. That's true. Give me your humans. Give me your huddled masses yearning to be free of Midgar. When was the last time you played your PS4, Jeff? I've been playing uh, Nier. Oh, that's uh, true. Yeah, how's Nier going? Uh, it's it's going well, but the the uh, the Polygon review I saw of it said. It's a great game if you can get past the first 10 hours. And I'm, <laughs> I'm still within the first 10 hours. It doesn't but seem so that like kind of tempered my expectations for it. And it's like, well, it's not bad. You know, it's it's just been, I've been running around collecting mutton to bring to villagers and not doing anything super cool yet. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like um, with Nier Automata. Like, I enjoyed the game, but everyone's like, oh, you haven't really played the game until you've gotten all the endings and it's like hey man i beat it twice i don't know <laughs> i don't know how much i can keep going with this thing like it's, yeah. it's it's a cool weird thing 
What's everybody else in the chat playing? You're legally obligated to tell us. Oh, God! Oh, Super Stardust Ultra on PS4. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the reminder that I should buy that. Oh, God. Yeah, because I like a dragon. Aaron J. Bear, hell yeah. Uh, it's fun to see people still finding like a dragon. Uh, maybe it's just the PS5 version. People are playing that, eager for something new. Um, the game is still most excellent. Are you going to find time for it, Jeffem? Which game? Sorry. Yeah, because I like a dragon. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I, I started it. Um, I do want to get back and play more, which is my, might as well be my middle name at this point. Yeah, you should give up, dude. That's tough. Give up on everything you hold dear. Uh, Crater Gaming says, like a dragon, select on his to-do list after finishing Persona 5 Royal. Unfortunately, that's impossible, so it's a shame you'll never get to play Yakuza like a dragon. Because it's quite the experience. Oh. Oh my god! That is about as satisfying as games can get right there. That was so good. Oh, apparently I've murdered all the humans, though. That is so satisfying. All right, it's very Defender, as you can see. But that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in for the Great Goatee Hunt for Returnal. I'm very curious to see what people think about it um, when it finally releases. Um, I think it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one. I think there's going to be a lot of Defenders and probably a lot of people that are like, yeah, it's too hard, whatever, moving on. Rogue like 70 bucks, blah. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see Housemark given this budget, and it seems like they've pulled off something pretty solid. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you think. And uh, thanks to everybody who voted for us to bring the Great Goaty Hunt back for Returnal here. Um, you can vote every single week over at patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. Uh, if you join that backstage pass tier, the $10 tier, you can vote for what we stream every week for New Show Plus. We leave it in your hands. Uh, and you also get to watch us at that tier. You can watch us record all of our shows live with a little pre and post show. And then you can also vote on thumbnails and headlines and all that stuff. Uh, Jeff, do you ever go into that Backstage Pass channel and look at that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> it's really interesting to see, like, having people vote on YouTube thumbnails and stuff and headlines. Like, it's always different than you think, but it's a really fun system. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for following us on Twitch. Thanks for throwing those subs our way. Thanks, Real Deal One. Thanks, Then Tom Was Like. Thanks, Divorce Cougar. Thanks, Kale Kool-Aid, uh, Frobot, Dandy Dante, Shazira, of course, one of our wonderful mods, but backwards. Cool. We appreciate everybody, and we'll be back next week with a new show for New Show Plus, voted on by all the Patreon supporters. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye. Every week, we let Patreon supporters choose which new show we create with New Show Plus. Should we create another episode of the show you just watched? Check out the biggest new game release? Get into Sea of Thieves? Create an exercise show? It is your call. So thanks to everybody who subscribes on YouTube or supports us over on Patreon. MinMax exists because of you. As always, if you enjoy MinMax content, any help telling a friend is appreciated.